Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing the third installment of my mini series, which I am a little overwhelmed by. I don't normally get this many new puzzles in so quickly. And so if there's anything here that you want to see first, please let me know because I feel like I'm in like decision paralysis of which puzzles to do next. But we are just going to get into this third segment. If you missed the first two, I'll link them down below. This time around, we're going over all the puzzles that were either gifted to me. I have a few that I got from gift cards, and then I do have some things that I had pre-ordered that are finally in. And I will say some things I didn't have any patience for, so I did do a couple of them so I can give you quick mini reviews of the ones that I did. And actually, I am still missing about a dozen puzzles that are still on their way. But at some point, you need to have a cutoff point. So I'm just going to do the ones that I have here today. Have here? I'll do the ones that I have here today. And then eventually, we may have to do a, another installment. But So if you're interested in any of these puzzles, I will try my best to link them down below. If I forget, please let me know. Um, but let's just get cozy. Let's strap in. Hope you have a beverage. It may be lengthy because we have over... 30 puzzles to get through today, so let's just get started. Now, as I did in the previous ones, I'm just scooting over to the side and I'll hold up the box. Eventually, I will get back to showing you overlays, but for this series, there's just way too many puzzles to do that for, so. All right, we just need to get started. So the first few puzzles are by Masterpieces, and I joined the USA Jigsaw group. I don't know what it's actually called. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It ends up being about $15 a year. We get these newsletters where there's different events and coupons and traveling puzzles. It's a really cool way to interact with the jigsaw puzzle community. And one thing that they do is each month they do a speed competition. And I always see everyone posting like their times and the puzzles that they do. And I thought I would actually participate. So I did purchase the next bundle a puzzle so that way I can join in. One is one that I already owned, it already did, so I won't be joining in in October. But I'm excited to show you these puzzles and they end up being, I think it's like $26 for the bundle. So I'm pretty happy with that pricing. The first one here is a holiday puzzle. It's part of their easy grip line, so they're like the larger pieces. It's 300 pieces and it's called Holiday Visitors. And this one is so fun. I love that little bit of water and sky there, like those bright orange colors. I think this one is going to be really fun in the winter time. And I like that it is winter and not necessarily Christmas. Like the only thing that has any hint is like these little mittens, but even those could just be considered winter. So I like that they were inclusive so that way more people can participate if they don't celebrate Christmas. So I really enjoyed this image a lot. And then the next one I have here is from their travel diary line and this one is called Venice. This one is 550 pieces. Again, fun, fun colors. Love that little bit of sky. Love the attention to detail within this image. I think this one is going to be super fun and I feel like very doable for a speed competition. Now, when I'm saying this, I'm not necessarily thinking I'm going to win it all. I just wanted to partake and see where I am like time-wise. Not saying I'm ever going to be like at Worlds or anything, but it's really fun to watch them. So I'm just really excited to, I don't know, dive into these and see what it's all about. This one here is for October, and I did already do this one. You can see it over on my Instagram, but it is one that is glow in the dark, and this one is called On a Scary Night in October. I enjoyed it, but I have several issues with it. Um, it does have a texture for the glow in the dark aspect, which... I mean, the glow-in-the-dark aspect worked really, really well, so maybe that is what is needed for it to actually work. Um, so the texture kind of felt like you were filing your nails, which is like something I really, really hate feeling. Um, but also, my printing seemed like it was, you were looking at a 3D image, but without the glasses. So it was very blurry, very hazy, and I just don't know if it was just because it was the printing or if it was because of the glow in the dark aspect or maybe I'm just having some issues with mine. Anyways, I have this one, it's a spare. I'll probably do some type of giveaway in October for it. And hopefully there are no issues with that one for the giveaway. Um, and then this one here, they always do some type of like snack section. So these are four 100 piece puzzles and it's Smokey the Bear. 
um, really cute images, very just like country, foresty type vibes. I like how it's like Smokey Bear as a dad. <laughs> um, but I think this is super cute and we'll see how these little competitions go. Um, again, I'm not expecting to win. I just really just want to participate and I thought it'd be fun to do. Next, let's move into some advent calendars that I have. These three were gifted to me and I'm really excited about it. Next up, I have several advent calendars that have just come in. There's about four or five still on their way. And I do plan on doing a mini series for my advent calendars this year. So I will be doing one video where it's just gonna give you an overview of all of them. That way, in case you don't want to have a ton of spoilers, I'm really just going to discuss each one and show you like day one like I did last year. But I also this year, I'm doing something a little bit different where I'm going to have a dedicated video for each advent calendar and showing you the full thing so that way in case you are curious about getting it for yourself or for someone else you can see everything that you're getting and so I think it will be fun I'm excited about it and it also alleviates the pressure of trying to do them during the time because when you have one advent calendar for the season it's very doable but when you have seven or so advent calendars for the season it ends up being like over an hour and a half of you just doing mini puzzles in the evening so I am going to do all the advent calendars and then show you them I've already discussed this but the first ones that have come in the first two were gifted to me by Vermont Christmas Company I'm so excited to be working with them this season they sent me two of theirs there are three available. Um, the first one here I like because it's an advent calendar that's actually a little bit more on the religious side. I feel like often the advent calendars are definitely more towards like Santa or just like Christmas. Um, but I do like this one because it is a little bit more like the reason for the season, which I understand is not everyone's vibe, but I am happy to have this one. This one is called Stained Glass Nativity, and I really like this image. And what I appreciate with their theirs, and I'll just discuss it a little bit here, is that unlike other advent calendars where you're having a different like mini puzzle each day, they are doing it where you have 24 boxes, but you're building this final image. So that way it's really fun if you maybe struggle to complete a 1000 piece puzzle or you just don't have time during that busy season to complete a full puzzle. It's a way to break it up and make it very manageable. So I'm excited about this one. I love the color so much. And then this one, I absolutely love this image so much. And this one is called Christmas Cheer, which, oh my gosh, is so much fun. So it is definitely a Christmas neighborhood. People are making snowmen and caroling and decorating Christmas trees. And this just sounds like a good time. The third one that they had, I forget what the name of it was, but it's white. It's like a white house. It's very festive. So I like the variety. I honestly couldn't choose which ones they were going to send me. So they, I just told them, pick whichever two you want to show. And so they sent me these two and I'm really excited about it. And then this one here, I've already showed a few times on my channel, but I'm officially hauling it. And that is the Pintu advent calendar, which is just so fun. I am working with them this season as well. And this one is a very good price point. It's right now, I think it's still available as pre-order. So it's a little bit less expensive, um, but you're getting a lot in here and I'm excited to show it to you. I will give you a warning though, if you're wanting to buy it for yourself, that you may want someone else to purchase it if you want it to be a surprise because they have it full out on display. So that way you can see everything that's inside of it. And I just really love the variety. I'll just say that in case you are someone who wants it to be a surprise and wants someone else to purchase it for you. But if you are someone who has already seen it and everything, I'm just so excited about it. It does have like a little storyline and I'm excited to break this open and show you these in a more in-depth video. Next, we are having a coffee break. Hmm. There's so many puzzles here to get through. I honestly don't know which puzzle to do today. I'm going to start a puzzle, so... Um, I think I'm posting this the same day that I'm filming it, so let me know some of your suggestions of which ones to do. <sighs> Anyways. Next up, we have this set of puzzles that was gifted to me by a subscriber. We have very similar tastes, and so she had sent me an email with some images that she was parting ways with, and then she ended up sending over three of her puzzles, which I'm so excited for. We definitely have very similar tastes, and she knows me so well, so I'm very excited and grateful for these puzzles that have come in. This first one, you're not gonna be surprised why I love it. I have really been loving the Cozy series from Ravensburger, and this one, is called Cozy Retreat. 
This one is super fun and it reminds me of a vacation that we went to in Maine one year. We were in a cabin near a lake with a fireplace and all we did was read because we didn't have service and this just feels like such a fun time both as a puzzler doing the puzzle but also I just want to be the person in the puzzle. So this one she is reading a book, she's drinking some tea, having some danishes next to a fireplace and it just looks like like a good time and so this one is a thousand pieces so far I've been loving this series from them and I'm excited that she passed hers along this next one is definitely my style and I feel like so many fun elements that I love are in one puzzle this one is called cat balloon race and if you're new to the channel I have this thing for hot air balloons I also have two kitties and hopefully you can see the kitties that are in this puzzle that they are dressed up as like humans and flying these hot air balloons and again one of my other elements that I love is sky so there's like a little bit of sky in the background so I have a feeling I'm going to absolutely love this puzzle it's 750 pieces and it looks so 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 fun so I'm excited for this one and it's definitely totally up my alley and then the third puzzle that she sent over she had noticed that I was really into Ibu and it's a brand that I've been wanting to explore a little bit more and so she sent over one that she was not going to do and this one is called 100 great words and so this one is one of their circular 500 piece puzzles and I love puzzles with words and letters in it so I feel like this is one that will be on my to-do list really soon just because it's such a fun vibe and feel like it's going to be relatively easy we'll see but I think this is going to be super fun and I'm excited to again explore more from that brand even though for me the quality just doesn't line up with every aspect that I love in a puzzle I really love the images and every single time I do one I have a good time so I'm excited for that and let's move on to the next stack of puzzles which was also gifted to me but this one by a brand this one is super exciting because I had done a wishlist video with this brand in it and then separately we were talking on Instagram just shortly afterwards so I had assumed they saw the video but they didn't and so when I told them I was like oh my gosh you're on the brands that was in my wishlist video did you see it and they said no and that was really exciting so they ended up sending me some puzzles that was in that video so I actually got like a wish granted which is so fun and I like that it came a little bit more organically where it's what not me going to them and being like hey can I have a puzzle it was just them reaching out because they liked my channel which is really cool um, and I actually met them so anyways it's unified pieces I met them at puzzle jam south which was really exciting and so we have these puzzles here which I did discuss in my wishlist video. This first one is called The Boom which is just so fun. I love this one because it's like a gradient rainbow but it's like overlaid over a picture. So it's just a ton of these boom boxes and I love this image so much. I think this one is going to be super fun. The other one that they sent is, I just love it, it's called Castronaut. So it is a galaxy cat, but there's not so much galaxy in the background that's really hard or impossible because even in the galaxy there's some like patterns and geometric bits that will make it a little bit easier. But also the cat just looks super fun and quirky in his little cat astronaut suit. And I just, I loved it. Also it's a little orange kitty, which both of my kitties are orange. So that one I feel like is going to be super fun. And their boxes are really sturdy. So this one here, I feel like it's from the same manufacturer as another brand that I'll be discussing but honestly the box feels so nice and I'm very excited to try it. I haven't opened them up yet but I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy that experience based on the other one that I did from the other brand. Um, the other one that they sent over is called Color Bliss and this one just photographs really well. I've seen it all over on Instagram so I just love the colors. I like that it is gradient rainbow, but it has like a geometric pattern to it. It just seems like it's going to be really fun um, and possibly a little bit challenging just because there's little bits of the same color and different aspects of the puzzle. But I feel like, again, it's going to photograph really well and I really like the artwork. In general, there are so many puzzles from that brand I really vibed with and I just like that I am supporting 
more black owned brands recently and it's just really fun to see their side of artwork because I feel like it is a little bit different than what you normally see in puzzles. So I'm very excited to try that brand out and it was so much fun to meet Meezy at Puzzle Jam South. He was so cool. Since we were talking about unified pieces, I'm just going to show you Villager Puzzles, which I believe has the same manufacturer. And based off of my experience with this puzzle, I am really excited to try the unified pieces and all the rest from Villager Puzzles. So if you are new, Villager Puzzles is a brand new company. She just launched her first collection. I did pre-order it back in August. That was the only thing I had purchased. And I'm really excited about this brand. It's one that I've been following since her very first post. She is relatively close to me. She lives over in Canada and features all women Canadian artists. And I feel like all the artistry is so much fun. So I'm excited to show this brand to you. And it's another one that was in my wish list video. And I already did one puzzle, which you guys saw that I had started it in my last little bit of my 24 hour puzzle thon. And I was struggling at that point because I was up for like over 36 hours. So I'm excited to explore more from them and do more of these puzzles. There will be a video eventually. Um, but this first one is the one that I did do. This one is called Mushroom Forager. The artwork is Courtney Gunn. And I love this one so much. As you can tell, it's mushrooms. It's super cute. I love how each mushroom has its own pattern and texture. And I really enjoyed this one. The puzzle itself was relatively easy. I feel like the hardest part for me was these mushroom words, which I did then at that point have to put the puzzle pieces sorted by shape. That has been something I've been doing a little bit more recently when I get stuck and it definitely helps. And this one, I loved the quality of the puzzle pieces. It has a really nice matte finish. They stick together really well, did not have a single false fit. Ended up being able to survive a pickup challenge. It was such a lovely experience. It also comes with a poster. Like, I really don't have anything negative to say. And so I'm excited to do more from them. And also, again, it makes me more really excited about the unified pieces since they may use the same manufacturer. But the box is really fun, too. Um, you can open it up from the side. It's magnetic. There's also another part in here where it shows you the image. It's just very well thought out. There's so many aspects of the design I love. And I'm excited that I did purchase the full entire line, which is actually Dave's idea because it is a brand that I was really excited about in every single image. I absolutely love and if you are similar styles to me I feel like you're going to really love these images too. The next one is called Girls Trip and again a very fun. I love the colors of this one. I feel like this one would be a little bit trickier just because there's a lot of this tan color around but there's enough other aspects that I think will be very doable and I love the color so much so I know that one will be a fun time as well. This one here is called mermaid life and oh my, i love the colors of this one so much um just look at that it's so fun bright colorful i love the colors of this one oh, so much and they're just like a bunch of mermaids a little bit of boobage happening but honestly it's such a lovely image and i love the colors that you can easily overlook that and i feel like that one is also going to be super fun this one to me this next one is probably the mo probably going to be the most challenging of all of them just because it has more of like that art stroke vibe versus these other ones that definitely feel like i'm i'm not sure how they created their images but it feels more like digital art but this one feels more like paint strokes or watercolor this one is called greenhouse garden and the colors are so fun but as you can see you can see a little bit more of like the brush strokes which i'm not mad at i just think it's going to be a little bit more on the challenging side especially since this is just a lot of shades of green with that greenhouse texture but the greenhouse is almost just like negative space so i think this one is going to be super fun as well it's just going to be on the more challenging side of things and then next we have this one which I love the colors and I feel like it's so like aesthetically pleasing, something that you would see as like a minimalist Instagram post. So this one is called Boho Living and I love the colors and I love this style of home decor, <laughs> um, especially the record player, which I own and like all the plants, which I kill. Um, but it, I like the, the colors a lot and I feel like this one would be really popular and fun to do. 
Next up, I think this is the next one I will do from her line because it's it's totally up my alley. This one is called Salt Spring Island. And look at the colors of this one. Absolutely love the sunset, love the water, love the trees, love the different animals. This one, I don't know if you can tell, but I accidentally like, stepped on it when I was doing pictures. So the box was in pristine condition and I did damage it. So I just wanted to give you that heads up. Um, but I love the color colors of this one as well. And I feel like this one is going to be a really popular image for her. And then this one, the colors look so fun. And actually this one might be the most challenging for me just because the colors are more on like that tie-dye style where color is just everywhere. And so this one is called Vibrant Floral and the colors are absolutely stunning. But for me, it might be a little bit on the trickier side. So I think this one is going to be doable. It's just going to be challenging for me just because it's kind of busy, which is something I struggle with, but I do think it'll be fun and end up photographing really well at the end. And then finally, this one here, another one that I absolutely love. Like I said, this is for every single puzzle, but this one I love because of the sunset and the um, water. This one is called Vancouver Sunset, which ah, so many aspects of this puzzle I love. Again, I love puzzles with words on it. I love sunsets. I love water. And I feel like this is going to be so much fun so those are all of the villager puzzles i did purchase mine as a bundle which did save me quite a bit of money i think i ended up getting like one or two puzzles free doing that um if you are interested in a lot of the images it may be worth it just to buy the bundle they do end up being i think 26 dollars a piece or i think it was like 152 for the whole entire set um moving into this stack of puzzles here these ones were gifted to me by Puzzle Warehouse, I think actually today or tomorrow, I forget the actual date, but my most recent blog post should be up on the Puzzle Warehouse website if you've never been over there. So many good articles, a lot of tips and tricks, reviews, um, just different, I love the different themes that people come up with with their blogs. Um, but I have my next set of puzzles for my upcoming blog post, so I would love to know your ideas of what I will be writing for for I think it's November through January so let me know your thoughts based on these puzzles what you think a common theme is um, one is very very easy to figure out because they're Christmas puzzles um, this one is called Christmas cat stamps and it's by uh, Vermont Christmas Company this one is just super fun it's just a bunch of cats as postage stamps and they're just all Christmas themed. I love like most of them are orange kitties. Like this one here looks like it'd be my Oliver. This one here could definitely have been a Ziggy man. Um, this one could definitely be a Loki because Loki's tail is always up. So these are super, super cute little kitty cats. And I feel like this one is going to be so much fun to do towards the holiday. And then this one here, they also sent over, it's from Crown Point Graphics, which I've only done once and I loved it. So I'm excited to try it again. This one is called Ye Old Christmas Village. And I love this one. I like that little bit of sky with the moon and the different buildings. I feel like this one is going to be super fun and festive. Like I'm excited for all these Christmas vibes happening right now. This next one is called, uh, let's see, it's by Springbok and it's called Carbonated Colors, which I love these ones so much. So as you can see, it's just like a gradient rainbow, but it's just different soda bottles, which is super fun. I like the amount of words and the different colors. I feel like this one is going to be very quick and easy. So this one I am very excited to do. And I know it's just going to be like right up my alley. So I'm excited for that one. Sorry if I ended up moving. Um, I had to change up my, my camera battery, so I think you're a little bit off, but it's okay. We'll continue on. Um, this next one is from Evu. This one is called New York City Life, and this one, I love the colors. I feel like this one is going to be super, super fun, and the image is just, there's so much happening, but it's not so busy that it's like chaotic. I think this is going to be a really good time. Again, love the colors of Ibu. It is so bright, colorful, and again, it's a brand I want to explore a little more of. This one here, again, you're not going to be surprised that I got it, because um, we do have a little bit of say of what's coming in our boxes, but this one is called Cozy Kitchen. 
Hi, Ravensburger. Um, so this one is 750 pieces, another cozy puzzle. It's just a line that I'm really into. This lady is drinking some coffee with some cookies. She has a little dog. It looks like she's baking cookies as well in a really fun farm style kitchen. Like it just seems like a really good time and it's to give me like warm cozy vibes. So I'm excited for this one as well. I don't know what other ones are out there for the Cozy line, so I'd love to know if there's another one I need to keep my eye out for. I know Cozy Kitchen and Cozy Retreat were two that were on my list, so I'm excited to see what other ones are out there. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, next we have is this one from Heritage Puzzles, which I've never tried before, but based on the box, it seems very similar to Suns Out, so I'd be curious if they are from the same manufacturer. But this one is called Smoky Mountain Twilight, and it looks like it is a colored pencil drawing. But look at this one. I love the colors of this one so much. I like that it's a little bit different, stepping out of my comfort zone for this puzzle. I'm loving the sky in the background of this one. I think for me the hardest part will probably be the trees, um, but I do think this will be a really fun one to do. And again, it's just branching out of my comfort zone, so I think that one will be really fun. If you've ever done heritage puzzles, let me know your experience, because it is a brand I've never done before. But again, it's giving me like Suns Out vibes, just based on the box and then finally we have another little stack of puzzles here two I already did because I had no restraint um, but these are puzzles I got with a puzzle warehouse gift card so since I do work with them I do get gift cards to use for their site and I picked out some that I was definitely thinking ahead for holiday season so We'll just go over these puzzles. The first one I already did during my 24 hour puzzle thon. I could not resist doing this one. This one is called Dripping in Color. I think it's actually supposed to go this way, um, but it's by Springbok. It is so, so, so fun. I loved doing this one. It was definitely on the quicker end. And it was very fun and bright and colorful. And I feel like for Springbok, it's either hit or miss with people. For me, I like the images enough that I'll do them. But if it's a challenging image, I probably won't just because the fit for me is a little bit too, I don't know. I like the chunky pieces. Like you can often get false fits. The craziness of the puzzle pieces I like. But I don't know, there's just something about it that I can see could be off-putting with the brand, just based on the fit and the style of the pieces. So I did like that one though. It was a really fun one. Um, and I did like the colors and I like that style anyway. So I knew that was going to be a good time. The next one I got, um, merely because I thought it'd be fun to post on Instagram when I was done with it, but also just like switches things up for Christmas puzzles. Cause I feel like Christmas puzzles can be often be just like sweet or very cozy or um, very just festive. This one, it's called A Very Vader Christmas and it's just Darth Vader in front of a fireplace with the piano and it looks like he's playing the force theme. And I like how the stockings are Han, Luke, and Leia. Like, it's just, it's a fun one. You know, of course I got this one. It's from Buffalo Gains. And I just thought it was, it was just a little, something a little bit different. And I thought it was super fun. It's only 300 pieces, so it's going to be pretty quick and easy. And just a good time. So I'm excited for that one. This one here is also 300 pieces. I did the smaller piece counts because... They're good for just like sitting in front of the TV with my puzzle board, watching like Hallmark movie and just puzzling at the same time without like much thought or like strategy because all these images are on the easier end for me. Um, but this one is from called Let It Snow. It's by Seiko and they have like the oversized pieces. I love the colors of this one. I feel like this one is going to be a really quick one for me and I just like it. I also like this one because it does does have some Christmas vibes, but if I just happen to miss it during Christmas, I could easily do it in January and it'd still be very fun to do. And then I have this one here, which I already did. I had no restraint. It was, I pretty much did it just a few minutes after I took it out of the box. This one is from, again, Seiko, and it's from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's called Graveyard Party. This is actually the full image on the back and it has all the main characters and the 
fun sky and I will say that the quality was a little bit different than other Seiko ones I did definitely had like a thinner larger piece count piece than other ones that I've done um, it gave me the same vibes as the um, blockbuster puzzle I did a long long time ago so very similar style in, as far as pieces go but it was such a fun time because of the image and I had no issues with false fits or anything so in general I really enjoyed it um, but it did have a feel like lesser quality as far as pieces go. And then the final thing I have here is a, this, this for a series that I need to get a groove on. So I've been wanting to discover more jumbo sets just to see if they're worth the price point. So I got this one from Masterpieces. It's 12 puzzles ranging from 100 piece to 500 piece. Definitely seems like a good set for those who are a beginner because you can start smaller and work your way up. I do like this one that has like a variety of different images. You have some landscape, you have some traditional, you have tons of animals, you have a fantasy version, you have some food options. So I like the variety of this one. It was $24.99 I believe. So it ends up being just over $2 a puzzle. So I do think value wise, I think it would probably be a good idea but I haven't done them yet so I'll have to give you some give you more feedback but I'm excited for that series to start so I need to finish off this one right here which is from Cardinal but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions of which one you want to see first please let me know down in the comments obviously I can only choose one or I might just find something to do on my own but it would just be interesting to know which ones are your favorites so that way I can put them at the top of my to-do pile but that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And if you are new here, I would love if you subscribed. I try to post two to three times per week and I'm excited for some future content to come. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.